and welcome all. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, then do it first by clicking on the bell icon below. So today let's understand how to use the inline internal and external CSS file. So let's get started with the inline style sheet. I've already written down the code for inline style sheet. Your style is the attribute that provides style to the particular element of your web page. So the element that I have used is h1 and the properties that I have provided is color and font size. So let's see the output for it. Here is the output. So as you can see the color that I provided is blue and the font size was 50 pixels uh, which is clearly visible on the screen. Now let's see another uh, element. Let's try another element like p tab and I want to provide a style like alignment I want it to be center yes so text align I'll use and provide it as center I can use left right as per your choice and then provide some something with the text don't forget to use semicolon like hello world and then close the tab again let's see the output so as you can see the output is at the center of the web page you can use uh, text size to, to increase its font size in internal style sheet you use style tag under the head tag and you Provide element name like this. I have used body and h1 and provide it with the selectors uh, where the property I have used is background color and for h1 I have used color and font size. So in this internal style sheet, provide style to every h1 element that you have provided in the web page however the style sheet is applicable to only a single web page and not other web pages so internal style sheet is effective when you are using a single html document let's check the output here's the output so the background color is this and the text color that is the h1 tag is in blue color. Let's see if I use another h1 tag and it works or not. So h1. So you can see it has provided the same properties to all the h1 tags. However, if I change h2, obviously it won't work. So as you can see the output, it doesn't work. So in that way, this embedded style sheet works only for the single HTML document. Understand how to use external style sheet. So I have already written down the HTML code here. I have used H1 and H2 element. Now for providing a CSS file, we have to create a folder, say CSS and in that folder I will be creating a new file, CSS or I will say style.css with the extension CSS, right? Now let's provide a link to connect this CS style CSS file for that I'll be going in the head head section and provide with link link relation style shape type text slash CSS and it would be CSS that is the folder name slash and the files name that is style dot CSS let's save this let's go to a CSS file and here I'll be providing all the style properties to my elements that is h1 and h2 so universal selector font family i'm using font family here that is times new roman so 
so that all the text that's visible on my screen is in this format. Uh, let's use some another property that is text align. You can use any other property so that all my text is at the center of the web page. Now let's provide a property to the body tab that is background color. Say this. Then let's provide style to the H1 tab that is color. Say blue and then H2 tag with the color or any other property of your choice say yellow let's save this go to the browser and check if it's working or not or paste it in the URL so as you can see it's perfectly working and the properties that I had used for the respective element is also visible on the screen. So in this way you can use external style sheet. I hope you understood the difference between inline internal and external style sheets. And if you have any queries or doubts you can ask me in the comment section. I'll be clearing your doubt over there. I hope you enjoyed this session. Please do share like and subscribe my youtube channel see you in the next video i'll be posting new videos on every tuesdays and thursdays till then take care bye bye